You're back with Expresso on three. Well, while we're planning summer, Gertjan Kutsia, who's a familiar name to our fashion industry, is already planning 2015 autumn and winter. Well, here's his collection. Gertjan Kutsia has grown up in the fashion spotlight, his development as a designer evolving with maturity. Whenever you attend a Gertjan Kutsia show, a glittering front row of celebrities is to be expected. But the show this evening was very sophisticated and far more demure from the usual showman's collections. So I'm quite interested to find out what his inspirations were for this autumn winter collection. This collection played homage not just to celebrities who fawn over his gowns, but diverse women who want to wear the label on the street. His inspiration was close to home. This year, I really wanted to raise awareness around HIV. Um, it's, it's insane how we have all this awareness around us in Africa, and still we are the country in the world with the biggest infection rate, especially under women. Designing this collection, I, I completely drew inspiration from the virus. The print that I used is what the, it, it's an artist's impression of what the virus looks like underneath a, a microscope. What I found was a, a bit of a polka dotted monster, and I, I wanted to just really take that and put it onto a fabric and a print that people can wear and, and remember. I did a lot of armor on the girls, and um, that stands for fighting this war against HIV, as well as the infinity diamond that symbolizes the, the support structure that we have to form around these that's infected and affected by HIV. Though sparkles and drama are signature for this designer, we couldn't help but notice that classic proportions and femininity have replaced his usual avant-garde style, for this season at least. I think Kajan Kutsi is definitely maturing. Um, uh, we're taking a bit of the bubblegum pop out of the label and making it more sophisticated. I, I collaborated with Shirovsky crystals and we just went insane on the amount of stones that we were putting on, on these red carpet dresses, really encrusting it with millions and millions of tiny little stones. The color palette was very much under the African sun and that is the story that I wanted to tell. And then the, the crystals itself had a lot of red in it. Um, I am focusing a lot on red carpet always, but, but I want the whole of Africa and the whole of the world to be able to wear Kachin Kutsian, and that's why we're focusing a lot on ready to wear. I just thought of things that, that what would Kachin Kutsian girls wear in the day instead of on the red carpet, and that's kind of how I do it. Just, just really pick up on the energy and the vibe that I get off South African women on the street. Khat's glittering finale of hand embellished couture showed us winter glamour at its most sumptuous. <sighs> a girl can dream.